my cousin Reggie. You got your jewelry? You got your purse? All right, because the boy could con Jesus. Roscoe Stephen Jenkins! Hollywood that came to town! Ah, <laughs> what's, what's up? up? <laughs> what up, cuz? What up, cuz? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Come on, man, give me all that. What's all that? Right. Oh, man, look at what you, uh, look, you got the picnic tablecloth pants on. Hey, boo-boo, let me get another picnic basket. There you saw a clip from the new movie that's about to come out. It's called Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins. We have one of the stars of the movie here with us, Mr. Mike Epps. We're so glad to have you here. Hey, thanks a lot, Reggie. I know a lot of people are going to recognize you, not just from the movies you're in, but also from your stand-up work. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, you're yeah. still doing that, right, even though you're a big movie star? I'm still doing stand-up, Reggie. You know, stand-up is... Uh, Without the stand-up, I wouldn't be as good as in the movies. You know, the stand-up is real good timing for me. All right, so tell us about this movie. It's Martin Lawrence. He comes home. He's a big star, right? Right. He comes home to Georgia. Right. His name happens to be Reggie. And My name is Reggie. Your name is Reggie in the yeah. movie. That's right. Martin's it's is... R.J. Stevens. Right, R.J. Stevens, yeah. who has become a big-time star. Talk show host, yeah. He comes home to Georgia, and he's not that big of a deal in his old neighborhood, right? Right. Right. He comes back home to Dry Springs, Georgia, and I'm a part of his family. I'm play, I play one of his uh, clip throat cousins who like to steal from him and <laughs> give him a hard time. But um, the movie's great, man. I think the, I, I consider the movie uh, like a gumbo. You know, you got all these great characters and actors in it. You got James Earl Jones, who plays a great dad in the movie, who, who demands all this attention, that, that demands everybody to act right. Then you got Martin Lawrence. You got Sage the Entertainer, Monique, me, you know. Who so, isn't in this movie? <laughs> everybody's in the movie. Barack Obama. Barack Obama's in it. Hillary Clinton makes a cameo. Yeah, he's doing a little cameo, you know. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's going to be a great family movie, man. I think the families are really love it. It's so funny that you got, you know, someone like Martin up against someone like James Earl Jones. No what question. was it like to have those two people on the set at the same time? It was great to have both of them on the, on the set. You know, um... I know James Earl Jones from being Darth Vader all these years. So right. To see him, it was like I was on the phone, like I'm, t I'm standing next door to uh, next to Darth Vader, and everybody's <laughs> like ask him to do the voice. He's like, "Yes, I'm your father." And he also, of course, is the voice of CNN for this so many. This is CNN. There you go. <laughs> do it once more. We gotta hear one. This is CNN. We don't even need him anymore. We could just have you loop it in. As long as your face is like this when you're <laughs> CNN. Uh, so, all right, so you, you have this movie career now. Yeah. You've got the stand-up still going. How do you work those two things in? Well, I tell you, man, you know, the stand-up is really, really therapy for me. You know, I get to go out in different cities and see real people and, um, you know, really, really work on my time. And, you know, and, and the movies are kind of like, they both complement each other because without the stand-up, I don't think I would have a good time and to do, to be funny in the movie. So they, I work them in, you know. It's a busy schedule, but... I drink my uh, Red Bull and get I was, it done. You know? <laughs> I was wondering where, was that, where that was going. Yeah, the Red yeah. Bull, okay. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, you got some of these big stars that end up doing movie after movie, and then uh -huh. they kind of drop the stand-up thing. Right. Because it's a lot of work, right? It's it a is. hard life on the road. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, stand-up, it requires you to go out a lot on the road. You know, you're hardly ever home, you know. So I work my schedule. You know, if I'm doing a movie, um, I work some weekends when I can work doing stand-up. And, you know, when I'm not doing a movie, I go out every weekend to try to do stand-up all over the country. Keep my, keep my tools sharp, you know? We were just, you know, every day we're talking to our entertainment correspondents and they're yeah. telling us what's going on crazy where you live in Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. It seems like there's more people now in rehab than out of rehab. Right, right. So I'm wondering what your take is on all this with all these young stars going kind of nuts. I tell you, man, you know, uh, being in show business is hard, you know. Um, it's a lot of pressure, you know what I mean? You have to really, really have a, a great support factor around you to uh, sustain your sanity. You know, uh, you, got, you got a lot to deal with. You know, people recognizing you everywhere you go. People know you, you know, people expecting a lot from you. And, um, you know, a lot of people depend on you. So the pressures of the business sometimes, it just drives you in a, in a bad way. But um, I send my love and wish my luck out to all the guys and women that are going through those, those problems. I'm curious, I mean, you know, last thing I want to ask you here is, this is a movie about someone who makes it, uh -huh. comes back, and is kind of, has to be reminded of his roots, right? Oh, yeah. Now, you're from the Atlanta area. 
Uh, well, I, I used to, live, used to here, live here at least, but I can relate to it a lot. You can, so uh -huh. you can relate kind of coming home oh, yeah. and seeing what that's like, and kind oh, of yeah. being reminded of what your old life was. Oh yeah, 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 and it's it's a it's a real uh, humbling situation, you know, when you come back to people who really know you. You know, you really can't come back Hollywood because they're gonna let you know. Right. They're gonna remind you of some kind of secret they know about you. Put you in your place. That's right. Put you in your place. But it, it, it really humbles a person out. I think everybody should, uh, you know, go around their old family and enjoy them because when it's all over with, said and done, those people will be there for you when it's all over with, and that's real foundation. All right. Tell everybody when they can see this movie. Welcome home, Roscoe Jenkins. You can go see this movie February the eighth. Roscoe Jenkins. Universal Pictures starring Martin Lawrence, Cedric the Entertainer, uh, uh, James Earl Jones, Monique, and myself. And Barack Obama. And Barack Obama. <laughs> We're going to look for that. Yeah. All right, Mike Epps, it's a pleasure meeting Thanks you. Thanks a lot, Rich. Good luck with the movie. Thanks Thank so much. You a lot. All right.